In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a high resolution Bluetooth receiver to an integrated stereo amplifier. The idea here is I would like to add a high fidelity, high resolution Bluetooth receiver to an old vintage integrated stereo amplifier so I can keep that uh, vintage audio sound, but I can add the modern convenience of having uh, Bluetooth and being able to stream from music files uh, from my tablet or um, cell phone device. In this demonstration, I will be using the Aris Blue Me Pro high fidelity Bluetooth receiver. So let's get started. So you'll notice on most of these old school integrated amplifiers, we're kind of limited on our input. It's not like a modern one where we have several inputs. On this particular device here, this old 3500, we have phono, tuner, and auxiliary input. We also have a tape source input. Um, we don't want to use the phono input as it is an amplified input to pick up sounds from a phono cartridge. This is too hot of an input to use, so we're gonna just totally scrub that one. For demonstration purposes on this particular video, I'm gonna go from, uh, I'm gonna use the tuner input, I'm gonna use an auxiliary input, or a tape input. Now, a tape input will be our last source. However, these three inputs are all the same level, all the same impedance, so they will all three sound identical. There's gonna be no difference in sound here. Again, you cannot use the phono input. Now we're looking at the rear of the setup here, and let's start with uh, power. So the Blue Me is gonna need power. It has a USB-C cord that plugs into an AC adapter. I have plugged that AC adapter to a switched 110 volt output on the back of the amplifier. This particular amplifier has two of those. I like to use these switched uh, AC outlets because it will turn the Bluetooth device on and off every time you turn the receiver on and off. Next up, we have audio out. This is audio output left and right from the Blue Me Pro to auxiliary input. We can also use the tuner input because like I said earlier, these two inputs are basically the same impedance and input values. They sound great. If these are already being utilized, then we can go and use a tape input. Now, different uh, units are labeled differently. They, some will say in, some will say out, some will say record and play. On this particular unit, record is the input. Record is the input. Now, if you accidentally get these mixed up, it's not gonna burn anything up, but you just won't get any sound, so it has to go either on tape in or record. Okay, we will begin our demonstration. Remember, I had this hooked to auxiliary input in the rear, so I have our uh, input selector to auxiliary. I previously paired the phone to the RS uh, device, and I did that for a reason because I wanted to show you once you get all this set up how easy this is to operate. So very, very convenient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the uh, amplifier. We have the confirmation tone that is telling us that these two devices are paired together. I'm just gonna go over here and click play. And there we go. Now let me give you a hint here. What I like to do is I like to carry my phone around with me. This is part of that whole um, convenience of streaming. What I do is I turn the phone up all the way. I have the Kenwood receiver down as I make this adjustment. Then I turn the receiver up to my maximum listening level. So if I'm working around the house, I'll say turn it up to like this. Then if something interrupts me or I need to do something to turn it down, I can use this and I don't have to walk back to the stereo to do that, okay? All right, and that's it. That's basically it. Very, very convenient. Um, a nice way to uh, update your uh, vintage receiver or vintage amplifier. Uh, keep that uh, 
beautiful old school vintage sound and yet being able to stream from a modern device. I will leave a link to this particular unit down below if you have any questions or comments. Please feel free to leave those questions or comments down below as well. And if you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.